What's up guys, welcome back to another LumaFusion tutorial. We just hit 5,000 subscribers. 5,000 subscribers and it's gone so fast. And I want to kick this off by saying congrats to Aries and Tom Van Schaik and Ronald for winning the D-Shake competition. Uh, you should all have received a notification mail by App Store now with the D-Shake application. So feel free to download that and use it right away. And also the big giveaway is here. It's finally over and it's the Amazon gift card. And the winner of this time's Amazon gift card is Delgado, Dexter Dickinson and Antonio Martin. Congratulations so much. You should receive an email from Amazon like five to 10 minutes after the upload of this video. And now over to LumaFusion. In this video, we're gonna make something awesome. Uh, we're gonna make this. So that is by far the most advanced animated intro or animation effect that I've ever made in LumaFusion. And it took forever to find a way to do it. So. I thought what's better than to actually share this idea and this method of making animated intros with you guys. So let's jump right into LumaFusion and start the tutorial. This is the animation intro we're gonna make today. This is a super easy animation to make if you just have the idea and if you know exactly what to do. But in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know. And you're not only able to make this animated intro, but you can make any intro you want using these techniques. So let's jump into the uh, timeline and make a new text layer. Once you're inside the text layer, you're gonna start with deleting your text here and you're gonna add a shape. In this case, we're just gonna add a triangle uh, and we're gonna adjust the triangle to fit the um, animated intro that you saw in the uh, intro of this video. We're just gonna make uh, one uh, triangle and then we're gonna size it to whatever the size that we want. And then we're simply gonna duplicate that triangle until we make uh, some sort of a uh, uh, wheel. So I'm just gonna speed this up to save us some time. Once you put the last piece of the puzzle, the next thing you can do is to go to frame and fit and you can center the logo or animation or whatever you want to call it or whatever you made, you can center it. And if you find it hard to center this uh, animation, you can simply add another text layer, then you can add a square or a shape and just resize it right away. And just let it be there. And then you move over to the um, uh, logo or animation intro that you just made and then you can resize using the layer that you just made because that will be in the center so once you are done with resizing everything and it's perfect you have it in the center and you go to text or to titles uh, things will look a little bit different if you will see that it's not centered and nothing is centered because you use the frame of it to center everything and to adjust everything so don't mind whatever you see inside the titles. All that matters is what you see in frame and fit. So now we're gonna start making the animation. So we're gonna start by uh, tapping on the eye on every single shape that we made and we're gonna disable them so we don't see them except for the first one. And when you see the first one, uh, you can go to frame and fit 
and then you make a keyframe at the beginning or wherever you want the animation to start. We're gonna make a keyframe at the beginning and then we're gonna go a couple of frames, make another keyframe, then we're gonna go back to the first keyframe and then we're gonna scale everything out so we don't see the um, title. So we're gonna just zoom it out and then we are done with that one. So there you saw the animation as well. So the next thing we have to do is to duplicate this layer. Uh, we're gonna duplicate it two more times and put it above the first one. Since LumaFusion only offers three um, timeline layers for video, text and all that, we can only use three at a time. So we're gonna go to the second keyframe that we made in the first clip. And then we're gonna go into titles and we're gonna remove the first shape and add the second shape. Then we're gonna go into frame and fit again and we do the exact same thing. We increase the size so we don't see it on the first frame and we let the next frame stay as it is. So once we are done with that, we go to the top layer, the third one, we remove all the shapes except for the third shape and make that visible. And then we make a keyframe exactly where the second shape is hitting the screen. And um, once we made that shape, we go a couple of frames. Then we go back to the first one again and we zoom everything out so it's not visible anymore. And there you can see now that we have uh, three animated uh, shapes that we can put into a logo or animated intro. So once you're done with all the shapes and you have the three shapes animated, the next thing you do is you go out of edit and you go into your timeline and then you're gonna, you can look through it if you want and add changes. And the next thing we're gonna do is to save this at 4K maximum quality. Once it's saved to photos, we're gonna go back to the first one and then we're gonna continue on the first layer and then we're gonna continue as shape number four and on the next layer above, we're gonna continue as shape number five and shape number six and then eventually we go back to the first one and we're gonna start with shape seven and then eight and then nine. Once you make this, you can also adjust the color of the shapes to make them glow, to make them different colors. You can make the RBG that you saw in my previous video or the previous teaser. Um, and you can make, you can adjust everything. What I don't recommend is to put as many colors as I did because LumaFusion couldn't handle it. Well, LumaFusion could handle it, but the iPad could not handle all the colors, all the layers and all that. But making it white and simple, it's easier and we're gonna and I'm gonna come back to uh, the color thing at the end of this video or when we are done making the animation. So as you can see, I'm continuing making these triangles and I'm speeding it up because it takes uh, quite some time. Once we're done with the animation and everything is rendered, we go back to our timeline and we add all the sequence, again, all the rendered file to our timeline. We're gonna start with the first one on the bottom, the second one in the middle, the third one on top, and we're just gonna skip the last one. So what you're gonna do with the first one is to cut it exactly when the last frame is hitting. And then you're gonna take the second layer and place it above so you have the second layer beginning when the first one is ending. 
and you're gonna do the same with the layer on the top as well and then you go into cropping and you play around with the crops and the feathers and everything the new feather ability that you have from Luma Fusion's 1.7 update and you just play around with that so you have the entire animation visible you will have some shadow lines but I think it looks cool uh, but this is the only way you can do it inside of Luma Fusion. if you want to make it perfect you will have to have either Photoshop or Affinity Photo on the iPad to make a single shape and then cut it together and make an animation inside of Luma Fusion. But as you can see it still looks pretty good as I'm using the feather and you can see here that we have the entire uh, animation uh, or the entire animated logo intro um, visible. Uh, so we can uh, adjust everything here and we can take a look. Let's take a look and see what it looks like right now. Yeah. So once you're happy with the animation uh, you and you place the layers on top of each other and you're happy with the cropping, you simply render this one to 4K as well because this will be the final stage and once this is rendered you are complete, you are done with the animated intro. And we can move over to colors. So applying the X-ray, which was implemented in 1.7, adds a pretty cool um, look to this animation. You can also add thermal and you can add the color edge to make it all black and you only see the lines which are white. You can also play, play around with the abstract to make it more liquid-ish and you can play around with other colors. You can add some fog to make it uh, glow a little bit and you can add different colors as well. So I'm just gonna stick with this green one with a tiny bit of glow because I think it looks awesome. And uh, once, um, once we're happy with the color, let's add some sound effects to match the animation hitting the screen. So here we found the perfect sound effect for this animation. I'm just gonna apply this to all the hits. And let's kick it off by adding a glitch effect at the end. If you want this glitch effect, it is in uh, the transition pack version 1 that I have on sale now. And I also have a transition pack version 2, which is $5. And you can buy them both for $12.50. If you want both packs, you can go check them out in my um, previous videos if you want. These transitions are world class quality and there's nothing else like it out there on YouTube or anywhere else. These are the first ever transitions made for Luma Fusion, which is seamless and it's pretty close to Premiere Pro and After Effects. Go check them out if you haven't bought them yet. So once we added all the sound effects and we added a glitch at the end with a glitch sound effect to it, let's add some music. Just gonna take this one and let's cut it at the end. We save this one and boom, it looks like this. So that's how you make an awesome animation intro in Luma Fusion, and you can just make it however you like. You don't have to use triangles, you can use squares, and you can put them wider, you don't have to have them that close. Having them that close could be a problem with the cropping, but this is just a massive tutorial showing you an example of how you can do it and it's all up to you just be creative and you can make the impossible possible 
So if you're gonna go into this challenge and make this or something similar to this, uh, please whatever you do, just hashtag RobHK uh, challenge on YouTube on your video if you're gonna upload it. And if you're gonna upload it to YouTube, just share the link with me, just send it to my email and I will check it out. And if it's super awesome, I'll give you a big shout out on my channel and also there is coming another transition pack. This will be the last transition pack this year and it will contain over 80 transitions, brand new transitions for LumaFusion, the same quality as you've seen in the other transitions um, that I made earlier and over 100 sound effects and over 15 light leaks that you can use with the cropping that LumaFusion implemented into the app and over 100 effects. Effects, that is just like the glitch one, but different effects. So you just make a cut and apply it. And it doesn't matter how long the cut is, this will adjust to the cut that you have or the size of the clip that you have. So if you want any of the other transitions that I have made already, uh, which is in the transition pack one and two, uh, you will not get any of those transitions in the last pack that I make. So if you want those, you have to purchase them on the side. And uh, the price is not set for the new pack yet because I'm still working on it and it's taking so long. So it's gonna be a little bit more expensive than the other one. But again, you get over 250 custom presets in total, which includes effects, transitions and sound effects and light leaks and this is one of a kind for luma fusion and i'm so excited to release this in december so stay tuned for that and i'm also happy to see that so many of you tuned in when i was live streaming and playing some fortnite and black ops 4 earlier today it was so nice to see uh, that you came in and said hello so i'm gonna do some more of that this channel is not going to turn over to some gaming channel. I will still focus on Premiere Pro and uh, LumaFusion. And it's soon time to move a little bit more over to Premiere Pro, but still have the main focus on LumaFusion. I made so many transitions in Premiere Pro now, and it's soon time to make some tutorials for it as well. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you found this intro tutorial helpful. And again, just hashtag uh, Rob HK challenge on YouTube if you're gonna make this animated intro yourself uh, also tag it on Instagram if you're gonna upload it to Instagram so that's everything for this video and I'll see you in the next one peace